Hey guys, Sean here back at Gamer Treasures. I'm um, doing another video I said I'd do. I'm gonna um, sell some uh, graded BGS um, revised cards that I have laying around and there's also uh, an unlimited piece of Power 9. These are all extra cards. I have a bunch of these. Um, I did pay out money for some of them. Some of them I had raw, I had graded. Um, and I'm gonna sell these for you know fair market value because um, none of them are super rare or anything I, they're none of them are nine fives there's a bunch of nines um, and then I'm gonna use that money to fund um, either part of my Vegas trip or um, use the money towards getting my graded black lotus um, probably closer towards the end of the year because I'm gonna have to save up some money to be able to purchase one of those it's a pretty expensive card um, but here's the first card it's a 1994 revised underground C graded mint nine um, it's in the high nine hundred thousands of the grading um, so it's not an old grade uh, I think they're in the the one millions now if I remember right um, could be wrong um, but here you go it is a mint nine wait let me see it's got a, a 9.5 centering, 9 corners, 8.5 edges, and 9.5 surface. Um, that's the first one that's going to be for sale. Um, this next one, same grade, revised edition 1994 Underground C Mint 9. It's very similar subgrades. I have a bunch of graded Underground Cs. I, I have the most out of anyone I know, out of any of the collectors out there. Um, and I kind of was hoarding them, but I need to get rid of some of them. I don't need as many as I had. I'm trying to get this to where there's not any glare. Um, damn it. Here, let me do this. I'm going to back off my lighting here real quick. Hoping that'll help here. Here's that same card. Let's see. Just the glare that was getting it. Maybe that'll help. Anyways, um, this one's having a hard time focusing. It's got 8.5 centering, 9.5 corners, 9.5 edges, and 9.5 surface. Yeah, aim this down a little more. Maybe the lighting will be better here. Same thing again, another 94 revised edition underground C, graded mint 9. Got a bunch of these. I think I have like four, four of them here for sale. You can see all the subgrades there. Nine centering, eight five corners, nine edges, nine surface. Same thing again, another nine mint underground C revised. This one has nine centering, nine corners, eight five edges, nine five surface. Again, I have another 1994 revised edition underground C. It's graded 8.5. Still same subgrade, still silver label. Um, just a little lower grades on some of the grades. This one has a 8.5 centering, 9.5 corners, 8.5 edges, and 9 surface. Next card is a 1994 revised edition Bayou, 8.5, mint near mint, near mint mint. It's got 9.5 centering, 9 corners, 8 edges, and 9.5 on the surface. That one would be a good one to crack open to play with, probably. Um, or if you just collect silver labels, it's a good silver label. Next card is a 1994 revised edition Demonic Tutor. It's one of my favorite cards ever. Um, just a cool card. Um, graded 8.5 BGS. 
me see here. Not super rare. I mean, there's a bunch of these floating around out there, but not a lot of them are graded. If you wanted a really nice copy to play with an old school deck or something, this one would be fairly affordable to crack open and play with. Or if you're just a collector that collects silver labels, it'd be good too. These revised cards are really shooting up in price, um, especially stuff like Will of Fortune, uh, Vesuvan Doppelganger, Shivan Dragon, any of them, any of those old school cards that were played, they're kind of shooting up in value. The, me and uh, uh, Buddy Mike were talking about some dark cards earlier, and they've shot up like crazy. It's it's ridiculous, uh, but it's good for the game, I think. Uh, eight centering, nine corners, nine five edges, nine five surface. And the very last card is going to be the most expensive card out of all the stuff that I need to get rid of here. Uh, I'm not going to fire sell any of these because I've got money invested in them. I will not take a loss on my cards ever, um, especially when you've been sitting on them and they've went up in value. You should be able to make a little bit of money. It's just they're, they're more rare. Um, so this one is a 1993 Unlimited um, Time Walk. Um, it's graded nine altogether, um, and it's actually got really high subgrades. It's got two nine five subgrades, so it's 0.5 away from a nine five. Um, and this one has a story. I bought it um, raw actually from a guy on the Facebook group. I think it was high end Magic cards, fifty dollars plus. Um, he goes by John Manhattan. Um, anyways, he was sold me this and a bunch of other moxes and stuff, and was a real good guy to work with, and I appreciate it. He he took a down payment on one of these and gave me a week to pay him back and th and that sort of thing. And uh, my buddy Mike's done that before too. And I always come through. Uh, you know, I always pay any debts. And I waited till all the money was paid before they shipped the card. So like they didn't have any, you know, time frame in between cards and money and cash and stuff like that. Um, so this one's a nine here. And what's crazy about it is I've got both the grades and I'll put them up to the camera. It used to be graded. graded. John cracked it open to play it. He had it uh, double or triple sleeved, I don't remember which. Um, and then I bought it from him raw, and it was in really good condition, so I sent it off to get graded it. And when I regraded it, after it had been played, it regraded higher. Um, so it's one of those things you can see, you know, what their grades were. So here's the, I just, and this will come with the card if somebody purchased it. I just like this story. Um, you know, sometimes when these cards tell a story, they're, you know, just more collectible, more appreciated, that sort of thing. So it was originally graded a 9 with 9.5 nine centering, 8.5 corners, 9 edges, 9.5 surface. Now here's the actual card. Really deep color blue, the darker text um, as far as... Um, man, the glare is just too much. But this is a 9 mint. It regraded 0.5 lower on the centering at a 9. Um, it also graded 0.5 higher on the corners at a 9. And then it graded um, higher on the edges of 0.5 to 9.5 on the edges. And then the surface condition stayed exactly the same at 9.5. Um, so the one thing that makes me think this would be a bumpable grade, because I have history of what it was graded, but not only that, the centering was 0.5 higher than it is now when it was first graded. So if they just bumped that up, this would be a 9.5 easy. Um, so, I mean, I think from an investor standpoint, if you send it off for regrading with this info, I think they would give you a 9.5, um, or at least I would hope so. So, um, you know, I've even thought about doing it myself, but if I can get what I want for, for it as it is, I'll take it. Um, so if you guys have any questions, send me an email. Um, it should be in my description on my YouTube page and my about uh, boostintofu at gmail.com or you can send me a message on YouTube or Twitter. Um, and then here, hopefully, maybe tomorrow, I guess it'd be today because it's late at night, um, I'm going to post these up on eBay too with buy it nows and see if I can get them moving or not or you can send me a you know message. Uh, thanks for taking a look at this and I'll talk to you guys soon.